The annoying allure of the Ligotian perspective is its seemingly bulletproof veracity of objective accuracy. If one was to examine life to its tiniest detail, he would quickly find it full of pain and suffering. The suffering of this world comes in myriad flavors, of which only the most crass and base are physical. As we move in hierarchy from physiological to psychological, and eventually to philosophical, the starkness of these flavors only amplify as they gain multidimensional, fractal-like qualities. Fortunate for the common man is the fact that these deeper qualities are difficult to reach, as it takes a unique combination of intelligence and sensitivity to reach them. In this unholy exploration, the Ligotian perspective excels at. If one was to utilize it to its fullest potential, it would yield extraordinarily detailed results of the most horrific kind. The paradox of Jungian Ligotian perspective is, as its name would suggest, the attempt to reconcile Jungian and Ligotian perspectives of the world. One might ask at this point, why attempt this at all if the Ligotian perspective is so ruthlessly accurate in its objective assessment of existence? Well, nevertheless of the inescapable fact that our realm consists of endless existential horrors, there is also truth in Jungian psychoanalysis, namely in its investigation into archetypal connections within the collective unconscious. The Jungian view, as we well know, asserts that the world not only consists of horror of the shadow alone, but is also laden with equally true, albeit in quotes, subjectively true, underlying qualities. One of these building blocks of existence is the base quality called beauty, which seems to defy even the most profound Ligotian horror. If the world, in its essence, is equally beautiful as it is horrific, then where does it leave us in this paradox? Perhaps the key lies in understanding how crucial the role of anima is in revealing this beauty. Indeed, even the Ligotian perspective occasionally gives credit to the maddeningly awe-inspiring vista of horror that one sees after having taken the last few steps on that cold, empty stairwell at the shadow that lies at the bottom of our world. Perhaps this, indeed, gives indication how equally deep the concept of beauty lies, right alongside the most dreadsome existential terror. Perhaps then, if one was to unveil this deepest baseline of existence, horror and beauty would lose their borders, as last words, it could be remarked that, as beauty and horror merge their lines and pure sublime terror is left in the wake of this unimaginable phenomenon of Jungian Ligotian spectacle, no other force but the aforementioned anima could act as a mediating figure to shield the unfortunate observer, preventing him from going entirely insane. It is highly likely that if one has previously failed to find this guiding figure in his exploration of the unconscious, only the horror part of the Jungian Ligotian world would be left emergent producing the terror that is known as the Ligotian Nightmare.